Branding is a process which involves creating a unique name and image for a product in the consumer's mind and that's mainly through advertising campaigns with a consistent theme. So branding aims to establish a significant and differentiating presence in the market that attracts and retains loyal customers. So what is the difference between marketing and branding? Marketing is what you do and then branding is what you are. So obviously now we need to start thinking about branding our product, which is Fruit Coop. And there's like loads of um, you know, factors and elements that we need to take into consideration. Um, so we'll start off by maybe you know, having an identifiable logo. So we are going to have a, a logo. Consistent of you. Yeah, I think we had yeah, established that it was the logo was going to be cube as the product is a cube shape. Yeah. It'll make us easily recognisable from competitors' brands. As soon as you see it, you know it's us. Yeah. Fruit cube. And could also be some fruit picture inside the cube. Yep. That yeah, so that represents the flavours because we've got Kevin Gray fruit. Yeah, I think we kind of came up with a, of a design um, using the different fonts. It was going to be a symbol, um, mm -hmm. so it was going to be shaped in a cube. So um, that's something obviously we can look into later. But we were going to have four different cartons, weren't we? Because there was four different yeah, flavours. So each each fruit flavour would represent a colour, and the colour of that fruit would be the colour of the carton. And the colour of the writing on the carton, so and that way people can look at the carton and know what's in it yeah. without having to then read to see what fruits are in it. So yeah. people don't like reading, they just want to yeah. come and go and see. It has to be clear, there's no point if it's all fancy, nobody can make out what it is, or it has to be clear, simple, simple. easy to point out, yeah. as soon as you see it, you know. Easy to identify. Yeah. yeah. So obviously your design, the shape, the symbol, colours and quality is like key. Um, to for, for our product, um, and obviously it's got to be a trademark that you know it stands out. Mm -hmm. For example, like Coca Cola, um, and you know like Cadbury's chocolate or Apple even. You know the Apple Inc. Um, they're all. You look at the logo and straight away you know you know what industry or what company, uh, what organisation that logo represents. So we want to be um, something similar for the, the soft drink industry. Yeah. But yeah. it's better. Yeah. Better, yeah. Yeah, it's got to be attractive and it's got to be appealing to all, to all different people within the market. Mm -hmm. If it's attractive to children as well, children will notice it more, parents will notice it more, um, health conscious people will notice it more. So if it stands out from any other fruit drink, then that's a bonus. Obviously, if uh, the colours are quite nice and it's colourful, it will catch uh, especially kids' uh, attention. Yeah. 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 And then it will all be up to uh, retail places, for, for example, if we sell it in supermarkets. Mm -hmm. If they place it at the bottom, then kids will just grab it. Yeah, yeah. So, so obviously, brand recognition is absolutely essential. Yeah. Um, and obviously, other thing we, we, we discussed was like it's going to probably take time um, for consumers to trust our product, to gain trust. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously, brand loyalty might take months, it might even take years, yeah. or if you're lucky it might just take weeks, it just depends how we you know, promote ourselves and advertise ourselves, yeah. uh, obviously if we're going to be very health conscious and it is a soft drink you know, for you know, a healthy fruit juice, so we never know, and it's a Scottish based drink, there's not other you know, Scottish drinks there that are health conscious, so we might be quite lucky in that sense. Yeah. As long as your customers believe that you're giving them a product that they need and that's beneficial to them, mm -hmm. you'll get that brand loyalty. Yeah. Plus, once you have brand loyalty, it makes it easier to introduce new items. Mm -hmm. For instance, Apple. Apple bring new phones every couple of years. People continue to buy them because they like the original ones. Yeah. yeah. So it allows you to expand the if business. If you believe in your idea, customers will believe in you as well. Yeah. And that will make a successful business. Yeah. yeah. They'll keep coming back for more. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously, Maybe a couple of years down the line, we might, you know, come up with another flavour mm -hmm. for a, 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 a fruit juice, and um, because those four that we're starting off with are so popular in the market, it's guaranteed that the, the new product we bring out is going to sell. Yeah. Um, so 
it's quite ideal. I mean, I think Linda, you designed a couple of um, signages and mm -hmm. symbols. Yeah. Um, previously. Yeah. Because obviously we're going to have two different sizes. We've got the one liter bottle, okay. and then we've got the cartons. So it'll be the same sort of. Are we going to do the same kind of sort of theme for the one liter bottles? Yeah. Well, it is fruit. It's a cube, and it's called fruit cube. So ideally, we want to keep both size cartons. The shape of a cube. Mm -hmm. So this would be the cube shape here. This would be the, if this was a smaller cube, there would be no need for a handle on it because you could just hold it. Mm -hmm. um, the one liter carton, you would need to add a, car a handle on the side or even on the top of the bottle. So it could be held on. So it could be held. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so this is the, the kind of shape here. This is the kind of design that we thought of, and all your um, nutritional details on the side on the packaging your fruit. Um, and then this was the logo here that it would come up with. So you've got your square, obviously, and then within the top of it, you've got your C, where the cube is. And this is all be in the colour of your fruits as well. So this is, this colour will vary mm -hmm. quite a lot. And then you've obviously got your U, B, and E there. And are we going to add some uh, pictures of the fruits in here? Yeah. So this yeah. is so this yeah. So this is this is kind of like the finished product without the logo inside it. So it would look mm -hmm. like this. Your C would be here then your U, then your B here, and then your E. So you can identify as soon as you see that carton what it, what it says. Fruit is cube, and it'll stand out and it'll say cube, and all your fruits are around it. Yeah. So fruit cube, mm -hmm. it's quite clever. And then on the back, that's where you have all your nutritional information mm -hmm. that's kind of hidden away from the eye. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. So once you've got an identifiable product and name, that's what's going to get you that brand identification as well. Yeah. Once people recognise that these symbols and these logos, mm -hmm. that makes a massive difference because it's recognition again. Mm -hmm. It's what people remember, what they see, what stands out. It would be easier if we were to introduce more flavours as well. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all about brand recognition. Yeah. Another thing we might want to think about is a, some sort of a, a punchline or a tagline. Mm -hmm. For example, is it Coca Cola? Is it Enjoy? Is that is that what they use? I know the Iron Brew ones. Then Iron Brew gets you through. They have like comic mm -hmm. guard belts if something happens. Uh -huh. It's okay. Iron Brew will get you through this. I know that the Red Bull, uh, that, uh, Red, Red Bull gives, gives you wins. wins. That's yeah. right. one, one person sued them for that. Yeah. Well, this is a, a healthy fruit drink that can give you energy. So you mm -hmm. would you would probably want to include words like that within your, your tagline. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, that's like healthy and energy. Yeah. About, about yeah. I mean, you don't need Red Bull to, to get energy. You can drink a fruit drink, mm -hmm. drink cube. I don't know why I'm thinking of like the drink that I used to have when I was a child was Umbungo. Mm -hmm. And it was so colourful and it had so many fruits, but they had, I think it was a, some sort of a tiger that represented that fruit juice. So obviously maybe we can have like uh, some sort of an animal or a person at the front of the carton, you know, representing fruit cube. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just another suggestion. Obviously we're, we're still brainstorming, but we're coming up with different ideas and we're talking yeah. about different elements that we need to obviously consider. And obviously it has to be visual, you know, we, we talked about colourful and then advertising will play a huge part and part of our branding as well. So either we have a TV advertisement for it, or are we going to advertise it through, you know, the supermarkets like your Asda, your your Sainsburys, you know, are we going to have a big billboard or big posters to say, you know, new drink, new fruit juice, um, try this, or is it going to be a radio ad there? And you know, although we're going to be using the promotion technique of being out in the streets and handing out tasters and freebies. Um, that might not just be enough. We might yeah. need to do a bit more to try and you know push yeah. consumers and customers and get them to like our product. Well, your your advertising is going to be a part of your budget, a big part of your budget. Um, mm -hmm. So obviously, when you start off, you want to try and keep that budget as low as possible. Yeah. So you want to be using the the channels that are that are cheaper. free and cheaper free, free media. <coughs> yeah. You know that there's like masses. Yeah, masses of people. Um, involved in all these different social media platforms, so that's where ideally where you want to kind of start, uh -huh. um, because it's less expensive, and you know you're going to get a lot of mm -hmm. attention through it. And brand positioning obviously is a huge part again, because we obviously need to think about you know 
um, it's a process of creating a company or a product or service based on like planning analysis. So when you think about you know who are our, our competitors, how do we be unique in the market? Um, you know, are we going to, as you say, are we going to achieve our financial goals? Are we going to make profit? Mm -hmm. um, so that's something obviously we need to take into consideration. Does it have the potential to elevate the company? Um, so, you know, there's loads and loads of factors that obviously we need to take into still consideration. Um, so, obviously, our competitors, we kind of looked into it was Sunny Delight and um, mm -hmm. what was the other, what was was the other one? Innocent, this Naked, 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 Tropicana, Naked, Tropicana yeah. Sunny Delight. So, we would kind of sit in between yeah. these the, products. The, the we would bonus. be better than Sunny Delight because yeah. it's, uh, made it's, not, yeah, it's made from Yeah, it's made from concentrate, it's not a real food drink. There's not a lot of real fruit drinks out there at our price as well. We, our prices are far, far more competitive than the other ones. Plus we've got a variety of different fruits as well and it's a Scottish based drink. Yeah. So that's our strength. Yeah. So that's one of our strengths. And again, Scottish people are quite loyal people. So you have <laughs> that brand loyalty quite quickly I would imagine. Because yeah. even when Iron Brew came up with their ice cream Everyone was yeah. like, you know, buying them because they're like, oh, Iron Brew have made these ice creams. Mm -hmm. It's a Scottish based. Brand recognition. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well. yeah, yeah, exactly. The important part of branding as well is to take back negative feedback. Sometimes things don't work. So, mm -hmm. for instance, Iron Brew they brought out Iron Brew Thirty Two, and that's, that was taken off the market because mm -hmm. it just things. didn't work. It was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So obviously, this is probably a testing stage for us as well. So sometimes when it doesn't work. That's an indication where you know you need to redevelop or rebrand perhaps again. Yeah. Gives you a chance to improve, work on it and get it back out. Some yeah. companies, for instance, there was a cleaning company, I think it used to be Jeff, was it? It's changed to Sif. That's right. Sif, so they yeah. didn't work, they changed it to Sif. Yeah. 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 So such a slight change. Yeah. Oil of Uli, maybe oil of Uli. Such slight changes, but yeah, yeah. so detrimental with the product, it's important. Yeah. yeah, and that's all about learning, as long as you can learn and you can see what you're mistakes are then you can actually improve your strategies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes.